You may be wondering why I'm doing a second video on corneal RGP lenses since I've already discussed it in a previous video of mine here. In this video, I'll be diving into some of the more advanced designs of RGP lenses possible nowadays. Watch on to learn more. Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Dr. Natalie Chai. This channel brings you the latest science-based education and treatments in dry eye disease, myopia management, and specialty contact lenses to help you understand why it should matter to you for optimal eye health, function, comfort, and even beauty. In my previous video on corneal RGP, the main purpose was to introduce the general design of a rigid gas permeable lens, the advantages versus disadvantages, and what the general fitting process entails. Today, I'll briefly touch upon the advances that have come along over the last few years with RGP lenses. These creative innovations expand the possibilities for eye doctors to be able to fit a larger demographic of patients. This decreases the barrier that can sometimes negate the candidacy of a patient for RGP lenses as well. Now I've worked with a lot of manufacturing specialty contact lens companies over the years and each one offers their unique designs and are doing phenomenal job at innovation with the ultimate goal of improving the fit, comfort, and vision for patients. After opening my clinic during COVID-19 last year, I found myself having to pivot and having to find something a little closer to home, Canada. This is where I stumbled upon and revisited an old flame of mine. Precision Technology Services and Cardinal Contact Lenses. Now, quick little backstory. Some of the masterminds behind PTS Cardinal Contact Lenses were my associate professors when I was in school. Believe it or not, I had absolutely no interest in specialty contact lenses during school. Sorry about that. Now, I learned to love it over the last handful of years, especially when I saw the huge need and the demand in the patients I was seeing, and I couldn't help them. I felt super helpless. Today, I'll be chatting about their own line of specialty GP lenses, some of which I've had the privilege of using on real patients in my practice and resulting in amazing outcomes. Side note, this is not a sponsored video. I just like to share on my experiences, and I am sure wherever you are, you'll find similar lens designs as well. PTS and CCL base their lens design around the philosophy of better lens comfort. As you remember from my first video, the main disadvantage for most patients is the discomfort of the lens because of its rigid material and most importantly, the movement on eye with blink. If you read directly on their website, they have moved away from the traditional multi-curve lenses and developed designs that conform to the aspheric human cornea providing a stable, comfortable, and optically optimized solution for your or our patients. Let's look at their four separate designs. Number one, the PC4 aspheric. This is a single vision corneal GP lens. Now this lens employs a larger diameter at about 10.5 millimeters. If you remember from my past video, the average diameter of a corneal GP is about 9.5 millimeter, and the next one up is usually an 11.2 to 12 millimeter diameter, and that is known as an intralimbal lens. So the PC4 lens fits right in between. Now the larger diameter helps to reduce the movement to increase the comfort. Another feature of this lens is it takes into account the imperfections and variability of the shape of the cornea from the center to the periphery. Rarely is a cornea perfectly spherical or round, and a lot of times there will be corneal astigmatism that further complicates how an RGP lens sits on eye. We know by taking corneal topography scans or maps that the average eye is steepest in the center and flattens out towards the periphery. To make things more interesting, the rate of steepening to flattening can vary greatly between patient to patient. For example, in the case of keratoconus, the keratoconic eye has a high eccentricity. The rate of flattening is much higher and quicker than a normal eye. The PC4 uses a unique aspheric optical zone on the back surface of the lens to better distribute the weight of landing on the peripheral cornea. Both of these features working together help the RGP lens fit more like a glove on the eye, improving comfort for the patient. Now let's move on to the second type of RGP lenses, the Apex Multifocal. Now I'm extremely excited about this lens because the possibilities are now endless, for me at least. Generally, I'm sure you all know that once we reach the age of about 40 to 45 years young, we start losing our natural ability to read up close. 
Now this natural phenomenon is known as presbyopia and most individuals are introduced to some form of reading glasses. We are familiar with glasses in the form of bifocals or progressive lenses and some patients opt for a soft contact lens option using a technique called monovision or a multifocal lens. A lot of my patients wearing bifocals or progressive lenses express their interest in wearing contact lenses as an option. When I fit them in a soft lens multifocal many times, time, I have to set the stage. I have to set the expectation and say, I cannot give you 100% good vision at both the distance and near. I have to rob from Pete to give to Paul. In other words, if a patient prefers their distance vision over their near vision, I would have to take or compromise their near vision to achieve that expectation and vice versa. At best, I am only able to provide functional vision. So choosing the right candidate was especially important when trying to meet over overall patient satisfaction. So cue in PTS and Cardinal on the design of their Apex Multifocal. With this particular demographic in mind, they came up with this design. It is built on the backbone of the PC4 design with also a larger diameter at around 10.5 millimeters and a unique back surface, a spheric optical zone for better landing and comfort. The additional features include a front surface add to address the reading power needed at near. Now the neat thing is that this number, this reading power, is customizable for the patients. And also, the size of the region of this ad power can be further customized based on the specific pupil size and diameter of the patient. So it is a highly tailored lens for your patient's eye, providing usually much clearer vision and optics than a soft contact lens multifocal. This lens should be strongly considered for your patients who have high corneal and refractive astigmatism where their soft contact lens counterpart may not have a multifocal available for the high amount of astigmatism. Regardless, the Apex Multifocal is a great lens to offer all of your presbyopic patients. As a cool side note, this same exact lens can also be used and considered in myopia management for your tiny humans for daytime wear. There are multiple studies that support wearing multifocal contact lenses and slowing down the growth of the eye. Number three, the Triad Multifocal GP. This is another innovative design for a multifocal GP. As suggested in the name, there are multiple zones that address distance, intermediate, and near zones, which is the main difference between this multifocal design versus the apex multifocal. Looking at their diagram, you can appreciate the multi-zonal nature of the lens design. It works by transitioning from one zone to the next using a, a spheric fillet curve. Now you've got the distant zone in the center with a diameter between two to four four millimeters, which is customizable again to your patient's pupil size. The smallest zone is the intermediate zone achieved by a 0.8 millimeter ring width. And the largest zone is the near zone. With this particular design of the triad multifocal, it better mirrors the progressive power effect with transitioning from one zone to the next providing simultaneous vision. Now the preferred diameter of this RGP lens is around 9.6 millimeters to help minimize the transitional abruptness that can come along with a larger diameter lens. We want the transitional zones to be as seamless, natural as possible, and this is achieved with the more traditional diameter, smaller diameter of an RGP lens. Number four, KVA keratoconic design. Last but not least, this lens is for the keratoconic patient. KBA stands for keratoconus by aspheric, specifically designed for the diseased, post-surgical, and irregular eye. It is again a larger diameter at around 10.2 millimeters for better centration, stability, and of course comfort. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the diseased eye has a higher rate of flattening from center to the periphery. The KBA lens has a higher aspheric back surface design when compared to the PC4 aspheric back surface. On the front surface, there's a compensating asphere to neutralize some of the aberrations caused by having a high eccentric back surface. This results in sharp vision for the patient. So there you have it. This is a quick rundown of some of the designs of RGP lenses from Precision Technologies and Cardinal Contact Lenses. I have personally fit my patients with the PC4 and KBA lenses and their feedback has been amazing. Great comfort with better vision than ever before. I have yet to fit my presbyopic patients with their multifocal designs and I am excited to do so very soon. 
Again, I can only share my experience with these designs that I choose to work with, but I am confident that other companies have their own proprietary lens designs that can help you. I hope this video helps you understand that we are in an exciting space for RGP lenses. It was once thought of as old fashioned, old technology, or for the special cases. Now those perceptions are quickly being debunked. I am so grateful to have brilliant minds behind the scenes working tirelessly to come up with creative yet scientifically sound designs help our patients who come in all different shapes and sizes. They certainly make us as optometrists look good in front of an extremely happy patient. So thank you. If you'd like to learn more and get into the nitty gritty, make sure to visit Precision Technology Services and Cardinal Contact Lenses new and improved website. I have their link linked down below in the comment section. They have excellent videos targeted for the eye care professional and they have linked some of my own YouTube videos for patient education as well. I can tell they have put in countless hours of blood, sweat, and tears to make it a first class experience for anyone. That's it for me today. I hope you learned something about these advanced corneal GP designs and have a better understanding around them. As I said before in my previous video, they usually get a bad rap if someone talks about them in passing, but hopefully I've changed your mind. Maybe just a little? If you enjoyed today's video and like to learn more about these amazing specialty contact lenses, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to make sure you don't miss my new YouTube video every second Thursday. Take care of your eyes everyone and we'll see you in the next video.